Welcome back. After gaining some clarity on the concept of cryptocurrencies in our last lesson, we now delve into the different types of cryptocurrencies that exist, each with unique features and potential uses. Let's take a closer look at some of the major types of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, this is the original, introduced in 2008 by an anonymous entity known as Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency. Devised as a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash, Bitcoin created a gateway into the realm of cryptocurrencies. It operates on a public ledger known as the blockchain, offering transparency and immutability for all transactions. Altcoins. This term is a combination of alternative and coin. Essentially, altcoins refer to all cryptocurrencies that are not Bitcoin. Many altcoins are variations of Bitcoin built using Bitcoin's open source protocol, but with changes to its underlying codes. Others have entirely new platforms constructed from scratch. Thinking in these categories, our very own cryptocurrency Islamic coin would also be considered as an altcoin. This leads us to Ethereum. Whilst technically being an altcoin, it demands a special mention. Released in 2015, Ethereum heralded a significant innovation within the blockchain universe, the concept of smart contracts. As we touched before already, a smart contract is a self-executing contract with the terms directly written into lines of code. This is a revolutionary idea too, stablecoins. As the name implies, stablecoins are cryptocurrencies engineered to maintain a stable value. Unlike Bitcoin and numerous altcoins that can display high volatility, stablecoins are actually pegged to a more stable asset, such as gold or a fiat currency like the US dollar. This stability makes them particularly useful for transactions. Central bank digital currencies, also known as CBDCs. As cryptocurrencies gain traction, many central banks worldwide are considering issuing their own digital currencies. CBDCs, although not decentralized, would reap the advantages of cryptocurrencies, such as speed and lower transaction costs, while being underpinned by the central bank. China is already running a pilot program with its digital yuan, referred to as a ECNY. But wait, while CBDCs have the potential to streamline transactions, there are concerns regarding privacy and central control. Some fear that with CBDCs, governments could have more visibility and control over individual spending than ever before. Each of these types of cryptocurrencies serves unique purposes and possesses distinct characteristics. While Bitcoin aspires to function as a universal digital currency, Ethereum provides a platform for developing decentralized applications, also known as dApps. Islamic Coin, a community-run network dedicated to empowering an ethics-first, Sharia-compliant financial ecosystem. Stablecoins aim to blend the stability of traditional currencies with the benefits of cryptocurrencies. CBDCs, on the other hand, attempt to capture digital speed and efficiency with central backing. In the upcoming lesson, we will transition from understanding the types of cryptocurrencies to learning about where and how you can trade them. Welcome to the world of cryptocurrency exchanges. Until then, stay engaged on our social media platforms and always feel free to raise your questions.